Greetings and salutations to engineering students and engineers in training. I'm here to talk to you today about how to get your professional engineer licensure in five minutes. My name is Luke Setzer. I'm a professional engineer with a degree in mechanical engineering, which qualifies me to talk to you about this today. Now, of course, I tricked you into watching this video with my catchy title, because when I said get your PE license in five minutes, I didn't mean all at once in five minutes. I meant studying five minutes here and five minutes there, and eventually over the course of time, with that kind of efficient method of studying, doing the work required that will get you your PE license. Now, if you've done any research into this issue at all, you'll know that your best bet for preparing for that massive exam is simply to work as many problems as you possibly can so that you know the material like the back of your hand. To that end, I recommend getting a reference manual from a licensed PE who is published to that end in the discipline of your choice. The example I'll use in this video is the Mechanical Engineering Reference Manual, 9th edition, by Michael R. Lindbergh, PE. What you'll want to do is, as you have time, work problems in that manual, make honest efforts to solve them on your own, and when needed, look in the solutions manual to see how the author worked those solutions. For this video, I will select a problem from the concentrate section of chapter 6 on thermodynamics, show you the problem, show you how the author solved the problem, and then show you a step-by-step -step method using a unique piece of software that can help you to go through a problem, make your own notes, until you understand it as logically as a geometric proof. Here is problem one in chapter six on thermodynamics from the concentrates section. A 5,000 kilowatt steam turbine uses 200 PSIA steam with 100 degree superheat and exhausts at 1 inch HG absolute. What is the water rate at full load? If the actual load is only 2,500 kilowatts, what is the loss in available energy? So let's assume that you've spent some time struggling with this problem and get stuck and then want to look at how the author solved it. This is the cover page of the author's solutions manual. This is the handwritten solution from the author's solution manual to the reference manual I showed earlier. And it shows how to solve this problem in his own words. Now, the problem with just looking at a problem and just looking at a solution is that you may deceive yourself into thinking you understand it, but until you actually struggle through and put it in your own words, you never will. It becomes absolutely important that you come up with an efficient method of studying that allows you to understand how to solve these problems by understanding fully the thought process that goes into those solutions. So let's look into a way to do that that will allow you to work five minutes here and five minutes there through each of these problems. Those of you who have ever used a what you see is what you get math package like MathCAD can appreciate its power. Today there is something available that is similar to that but much more affordable called TI Inspire CAS, which abbreviates Computer Algebra System, which you can get from the website education.ti.com. So this will demonstrate how to use CAS software to solve engineering problems. And what's nice is that you can take any file you create in your desktop or laptop and put it on your calculator for easy transport. So if you want to solve problems on a business trip, an airplane, or during a boring meeting, you can do that. 
This is an example of the TI Inspire CAS software. This is actually the teacher edition of that software, but it's virtually identical to the student version you can download to try for 30 days at no charge from the aforementioned website. And what's nice about this is, like MathCAD, you can do notes and graphs and equations all in an interactive format. So what I've done is to take the original problem and cast it into this software in a question and answer format. So the first page of this document, and you can have multiple pages per problem, and as many as 50 problems in a single file, which is extremely handy. So here I've cast the same problem again using the math, <coughs> excuse me, the TI Inspire language, and I'm just going to page through this. What's nice is you can have different page layouts to set things up the way you want. You can insert pages. So let me just page through this. First thing I'm going to do, as I said, like a geometric proof, I can lay this out using the templates in this software. So I've got my statements and my reasons, which helps me greatly later whenever I'm going back through these worked problems, worked in my own hand, to understand my own logic. So on this first page I'm laying out what the givens are, as well as the references to appropriate appendices to figure out where I'm getting information such as T saturation and the conversion of pressures in one format to another format in terms of units, as well as the establishment of my given power levels. Here, I'm using the appendices to research and establish the heat contents, or enthalpies, as well as the entropies, and I'm going to assume isentropic expansion. And then, based on that and the relevant diagrams and charts, I'm going to figure out in the appropriate unit, units what are my values of my enthalpies at the beginning and end of the process. Then I'm going to use the appropriate equations to calculate the work that's performed by this isentropic expansion, and then the mass flow rate that's generated from the power produced, and finally the water rate from an equation, believe it or not, in a later chapter. And one thing you'll notice as you prepare for this test and look at reference manuals is frequently the author will use equations from chapters other than the one in which you're working. For better or for worse, that's how these books frequently get laid out before the reader. And then finally, to answer the second question in the overall question, I calculate my loss in available energy, which is proportional to the drop in power load. And what's nice about this also is I can do all those calculations in the calculation windows, make my notes in my note windows, and then I can set up my initial problem with a hidden answer which I pop up now and I can lay out in a math box in my answer the variables and it will pop up those answers because they're defined universally throughout the problem in that document. For subsequent problems the variables get redefined according to your specifications and with the ability to do up to 50 problems per document you'd be hard pressed to find a more compact and easy and quick way to get through studying for the PE license in five minutes here and five minutes there over the course of time when you find yourself waiting in a waiting room or at an airport or in an airplane or in a boring meeting you, yes you, can use this method to move successfully from ignorance to knowledge and finally to passage of the PE license exam and achievement of licensure. Good luck to you. If you have any questions, post them to the YouTube video comment section of this video and also check in the information section of this video on YouTube for downloadable versions of the files that I've discussed in here. Specifically this TI Inspire file and also a PDF printout of this file. Best of luck to you.